Hiya, this is um, having to be a part two, as I can only record a certain amount of time. Anyway, so as I was saying, I actually bumped into someone who I know who buys and who buys and sells radio control cars. He actually bought my Tamiya lunchbox from me um, uh, a while ago. Um, basically, I didn't use it anymore, so I just wanted to get rid of it. So he came along and bought it off me. Uh, I'm not quite sure if he's still got it now or not or whatever. But I said, yeah, that's right, you bought the Tamiya lunchbox to him. He went, yeah, that's right. I didn't ask him if he still got it or not, or if he still if he would have sell it, sell it back to me for the price I gave him for. That's what I, that's what I probably should have done, um, but I didn't. Um, anyway, so after that we just did a bit, watched uh, watched some uh, bashing, and obviously put the car put the cars away. Um, anyway, so I think that's probably about it. Obviously we had obviously. Um, had dinner and whatever, hung around a little bit. Obviously, um, we did some other personal stuff, which we're not going. I'm not not, not going to go into on this. Um, right. So anyway, we um, uh, what did we got? Our, yeah, we got our dinner in, had it in the um, drifting hall. We noticed that anyway. So we um, did that. I'm not in. I'm not in. Go away. Izzy, what's the phone? Hello, we're not available now. Please Told you. Aha. Anyway, <laughs> so basically we just like chilled out in the evening and then we went to, um, I was went to bed um, and then we come into another Kind of a, you know, a bit of a low light. Um, basically, it started to thunder and lightning. Now, obviously, I had never ever been in a tent in um, thunder and lightning before, so I, it was a completely new experience to me, and I didn't particularly feel kind of good in it. Anyway, so um, and then the wind picked up, obviously blowing the tent literally onto our heads, which wasn't particularly. Um, a good experience anyway so um we after that in the morning obviously we woke up again at seven because we were gonna be help we volunteered to help out the um helped tidy up you know help put things away or whatever so basically we helped out clear up the um main race track um so basically yeah we did that there was me Ian my wife Obviously, all doing stuff. I ended up putting paint panels onto the one of the carts and taking them to um, like a pile to be thrown on. Um, which kind of thought it's kind of caught the intention because he said to me, oh, "Silly question, but are you going to manage all that?" I went, "Yeah, I'll get that there." And I said, "Even if it takes takes me a little while, I'll get there." And he went, "Fine, whatever." So anyway, so I did that, and uh, so I got back and I said, "Right, well, um, what's next?" And I said, oh, do you want to start doing the pallets? Which we were being used as the um, stand for the drivers to stand on. So basically, um, yeah, me and Sam ended up, obviously, obviously we did both. Obviously, we cleared them up as a team. I mean, Sam had helped out putting, um, like, tent pins, tent pins out of the uh, tubing. Um, we'll come on to a funny story about that. In a minute. Anyway, so basically, um, we were doing that, and then Ian and Tony were starting to roll some of the tubing up. Anyway, obviously they started um, doing it together, and then someone else came in, which absolutely caused mayhem. Um, I actually uh, went up to him playing the Benny Hill theme tune music on my phone, which suited the theme thing quite quick, quite well. And then, um, anyway, so they got that wrapped up and then they put um, Velcro straps around it to hold it all together. Obviously, that was one kind of funny moment. Now we come on to another funny, funny moment, including involving Ian from Claire's RCs. Now, basically, he started to obviously wrap a Am I boring you? Hmm? 
Am I boring you, Izzy? Can I finish telling the story now? Huh? Huh? You can lay down. Seeing as your kind of half of your body is. <coughs> okay. Man, anyway, basically, Ian had started doing the second um, tubing, but. He was doing it around himself and a tree. Hmm. Now bearing in mind the tree was quite a tall one. Now how, the question is how are you going to get the tubing off the tree once you're finished? Basically Sam had spotted this and I had like kind of spotted it as well so Sam said to me uh, do you want to have a word with Ian about that? And I went, yeah. So basically we'd got one load of pallets and we were taking them over to the thing. And I said, um, obviously Tony was there as well, helping Ian. And I said, um, question for you two. And I went, what? Um, how are you going to get that tubing off that tree when, you're, when you've got it all, around, all wrapped up into a... Like, are you going to finish it off with? And I went, what do you mean? I went, um... You might want to check the tree out, guys. And then they both kind of like looked, and it was a oh oh kind of moment. But it was quite quite funny because Ian and Tony had found the funny side of what they had done, and they started laughing their heads off, which was funny to watch. Anyway, so realizing their mistake, Ian got his phone out, and he did a video of the the tubing around this tree. And then he proceeded to look up the tree. Now he sent the video to Claire under the title of Tony and I have done a thing. Now I think Claire should involve this segment of the video that Ian has sent to her in one of her videos because it was an absolutely hilarious moment, especially watching Tony laughing like a, like a, whatever, he, whatever. Anyway, he, he, he found the funny side of it, as did Ian. But, oh dear. I think if me and Sam hadn't have been there, there'd have been, well, I don't know what would have happened. You know. Okay. I don't know what that was. But anyway, so um, anyway, so basically they obviously they um we were told all by Ian, oh we're gonna go and take a quick, you know, have a quick break, you know, come and join if you want. Or well, I said, well we'll we'll just finish off and then we'll come and join you. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so we um finished off the pallets, got them all done, and we put the cart over position for Ian and Tony to use. So um anyway We'd done that and went over to where they were, hung around with them for a little while, had, had a piece of cake before doing a final airman, airman for them. Obviously, next door having a loud music party you're going on. Anyway, obviously I won't go into that because that's nothing I'm going to get involved in. Obviously, I know about it, but I'm not going to get involved in it. So anyway, so... Oh, so we had the cake, obviously cleaned up our plates and then afterwards to help out a little bit. And then we said our goodbyes and when we did the air and then went home. So, basically, they that's my kind of story on the whole, my, my review on the weekend. Basically, apart from the low lights, which there's only two, or two I think there was, I told you about. They completely got blown away by the highlights. And the highlights were having pretty good weather on the Saturday and Sunday. Um, the atmosphere was brilliant. I actually got talking to new people, obviously different people as did Sam and we made a few new friends from the weekend, which was one of the, which was an absolute, one of the main highlights. 
um, having a really, really good time. Obviously, being with Ian and Claire, Tony, Alex, Dave, Dearly, um, Adrian, who I actually got on got really well with. You know, that was brilliant. Obviously, other other people as well that spoke to me. You know, absolutely brilliant. You know, thank you very much, guys. You made the weekend really, really special. Um, and also, I want to do a big shout out. I'm going to put him in the, um, I'm going to tag him in the um, description on Facebook. And that is an American guy called Len Harding. Now, Len is from Detroit, Michigan. Now, he came all the way over to the UK from America, from the States, to be over here for that weekend. Now, he did, I think he went home on the Tuesday after. So, two days after. Len it was absolutely brilliant to to uh, meet you and to even be interviewed with you on one of the mornings. I can't remember what it was. You did inter you interviewed me, and you know I can't wait to meet you again at the next year's Fam Jam. And yes, there will be a Fam Jam next year. I will be there. I will be filming, and I will be doing pictures and. I will have, hopefully, if everything goes well, I will have some new toys. Watch this space. As there was one particular car, which I was 50-50 about. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like that particular car. But I was thinking, obviously I've been like a borderline of, would I have one? And I think after Firm Jam, yes, I will have one of these particular cars. And I will have one at next year's Fan Jam event. I'm not saying what it is. It's going to be... You'll have to wait and see on that one. I've got a couple of cars planned, which I will tell you about. I'm looking at getting Sam an RC car. Uh, she likes Volkswagen Beetle, so I'm going to look at her, looking at getting her a VW Beetle. Yes, that will be her car, not mine. You know, I will probably have a go with it, you know, obviously have a bit of fun with it as well. I mean, she lets me, but it's going to be her car, her main car, not mine. And I will announce, I am looking at getting a crawler as well. I am looking at getting a TRX4 Sport Traxxas crawler. Uh, Claire and Ian have got one each. Yes, I'm not, just because they have got one doesn't mean I'm going to get one. I'm not copying them. Obviously, I'm not looking to get the same one as them, just because they've got one. You know, obviously, I know other people have got one as well. You know, I'm not doing it to copy them. I'm going to try and do my own. I'm going to get my own body shell for it. And I'm going to spray it up how I want it, to how it's going to be for me. And obviously, I will be running that at Fam Jam and Poly Apes as well throughout the year. And also, I will be letting Sam have a go with it as well, so she can have a go with it. You know, obviously, I want her to get her involved in it as well. Um, and I'm also looking at getting my dream RC car. Now, some of you who know me very well know what that is. I'm not going to mention it on this video. Um, basically, I want... I have been after one of these for years. I've actually loved, liked them since I first ever saw one in a radio control car magazine. And that was a long, long time ago. So basically, oh, sorry, I'm actually going to be hoping, oh, oh sorry you see, <laughs> I've just caught him. Yeah, right, he's fine. Um, oh dear, you are a daft dog. Anyway, so obviously, hopefully that one of them, I will be getting one of them. Obviously, I won't be running it at Fam Jam because this particular car has to go on on smooth, smooth um, smooth ground. And also, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that if everything goes well between M Hat and Brentwood RC possible 
you know, I'm hoping that Brentwood RC can be there with their banger track. So I can have a go at, obviously do a day with the bangers and something else that you can race on the oval track as well. Obviously, watch that, watch, you watch that space. Um, I'm not giving too much away because no. I want it to be a complete surprise. Obviously, when I get some of the stuff, I will do a video on them when they get here, when I do get them. But I'm not saying anything. Obviously, you know about the TRX4 Sport by Traxxas. Yes, I'm hoping to get one of them. Um, but that is all I'm letting out. I am not letting out anything else. So, that is it. I think I've gone on long enough and bored the, bored the living crap out of you guys. Um, so basically, don't forget, like, comment. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you haven't, I don't give a monkeys. That's, your, that's down to you, not me. Alright, all I'm saying is what, I, what kind of time I had. I had a really good time. Um, Sam did as well. Okay, she got hit by a Traxxas Max, but that wasn't, that was a pure, 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 pure accident. You know, that wasn't, that was not done on purpose. It was an accident, pure accident. She's okay now. She's fine now. You know, she's over, she's got, she's over it. Um, but that is it. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.